as far as Chrono Trigger goes, so let's talk about Chrono Trigger. Um, I, uh, I kind of, I didn't grow up with Chrono Trigger first off. I didn't know it was a Super Nintendo game back in the day. Um, it, to me, uh, I found it as a DS game. It was like used at GameStop and I just bought it. You know, it looked good. Like this particular, this back, uh, this image, which I think was a beta image. I, I can't remember. Uh, this was on the DS's cover. You know, and it piqued my interest. I hadn't heard about it before. Um, I remember enjoying it. To an extent. And then... I remember never touching it again. And there's several games I had for the DS where I did this. Um... Most of them RPGs, because I had a lot of RPGs on the DS. Um, I had Final Fantasy 3 and 4. I had Chrono Trigger. I had Children of Mana. Uh, I had several other ones. I had The World Ends With You. And there's just, there's something going on with me. Uh, I'm kind of hoping to work through with this stream. It's a bit weird. Um, it's not at all logical. Like, I don't hate Chrono Trigger. You know, I just watched Vinny play through his playthrough. Um, his, like, every four-year playthrough of, uh, of, of Chrono Trigger. You know, I don't despise it in any way, shape, or form. But there's some kind of repulsion. Uh, subconsciously. With this game. I, I don't know how to describe it. You know? And it, it may be something with the combat. It's not the characters. I love the characters. Like... The only one I'm not really a huge fan of is Magus, but that's only because he never really develops once he joins your party. He just shows up and you beat Lobos and then, you know, that's it. That's all he gets. Um, I, I don't know what it could have been. Um, so I'm hoping that maybe while playing it, I kind of rediscover that and kind of say, oh, that's it. Or, you know, like maybe like maybe there was something in my life at the time that's deeper that I've just attributed to all of this, you know, like maybe something was going on with my family and I've just kind of repressed it. And I've like, I pushed it onto my collection of DS games I had. And I just, I didn't touch like it went to the point where I gave away most of those games where I sold them. And I don't even remember doing that, you know, like I've still got the world ends with you. That's the only one I've kept, uh, through all of this and nights in the nightmare. Um, but, like, I remember just, like, handing off Final Fantasy 3, and I don't think it deserved that. That was a really fun game. I love the artwork, and I love the, uh, the sprite work, and, like, uh, the chibi style, and all the various configurations of, uh, of people you could have, and, like, jobs, and all that. Like, it was a fun game. I remember having fun with it. I just, I don't know why I put them down and didn't want to touch them again. So... That, that's kind of what's going on with me there. It's going to be weird. Um, 